Hello and welcome to what I read in March. Uh, I didn't read anything this month. Just kidding. April Fool's Day. I read eight books this month. So just to go ahead and get into it. The first book I read was The Ash Family by Mel Molly Dechter. Um, I picked this up at a library book sale. So I showed it off in a haul. But this book is about a 19-year-old Barry who feels lost um, in life and she encounters a man at a bus stop who invites her to an off-grid community that's headed by an enigmatic leader and she discovers belonging comes with a price. I give this four stars. Obviously, you can tell some red flags from the description, but overall, I enjoyed the writing style of the book. The plot was okay overall. It wasn't my favorite, but it was a pretty cool read, pretty easy to read through. Um, if you're interested in like cults or books about cults, this is a good nonfiction one. I really liked the cover of the book, but I think I am going to donate it to my little free library. Then I read The Last Party by Claire McIntosh. This is based on New Year's Eve. A famous singer is at his vacation home and he has a party. And, but not all the people invited are there to celebrate because at the end of the night, the host is murdered and everybody is a suspect. Uh, four stars. I thought it was an interesting cast of characters. It's like set in Wales. So there's some like Welsh words throughout. So that was pretty interesting to see. The setting was pretty unique. Uh, some of the writing was more successful than other parts, but overall it was a fun story to follow. I didn't really think the ending was my favorite, but I think it was good for what it was. And it was a pretty uh, mysterious book, so I would recommend it for that part. And my sister recommended me that one. Then I read Funny You Should Ask by Elisa Sussman. Uh, this is about Cheney, who is stuck writing puff pieces while her former um, MFA classmates are nabbing book deals. She's hired to write a profile for up-and-coming star Gabe. And as the interview turns into a week and long way to get to know each other, they write. she writes an article, it becomes a hit. Ten years later, they reconnect to write a second article, and then they face the miscommunication of their past. I gave this four stars. It wasn't a super groundbreaking type of book, but it was fun to read. Uh, the article, they had like an article and then they would get into like what really happened. So I thought it was kind of cool. Like the article gave you like the surface story and then the chapter would dive into what actually happened. Um, her perspective throughout the chapters was pretty cool to read. I thought it was cute. I really enjoyed the love interest and the attention to detail that he gave her. So that was a really good one. Then I listened my first audiobook ever, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So this book is about uh, how making music is never just about the music. The book delves into the fictional band and their songwriting process, love, fights, and more. I actually only gave this three stars and I'll tell you why. Because last year I tried to read the book, the format threw me for a loop. It was like, Stacy says this, uh, Kayla says this, Alyssa says this, too much. It was just way too much. I was like, uh, I didn't like uh, reading it. So I was like, you know what? Let me try listening to the audiobook because I heard it was pretty good. And I wanted to watch the show. So I was like, let me, I, you know, I got to read the book before I watch the show. So listen to the book. I really did enjoy the voice acting. I just didn't really care for the story as much as I wanted to. And that's okay. Not everything that uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid writes is my favorite. Uh, sometimes it's hit or miss. I haven't watched the show yet, but I plan on watching it. I'm watching a bunch of other stuff right now. But it was cool to listen to an audiobook. Um, that was my first time ever doing it. So it was a success. Then I read Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Alexis is an ER doctor from a large medical family and she stumbles on a small town with the handsome Daniel who owns like a Airbnb type situation. Their world's gonna be more different, but they have an undeniable connection. I gave this four stars. Uh, I really enjoyed this story and felt the connection between the characters. I don't think Alexis was the most likable person 
but she got better throughout the story and Daniel was a sweetheart. Um, the only reason I really didn't think Alexis was that likable is because she kind of is like, yeah, I never even learned how to clean. I'm like, okay, I know your family's wealthy, but you should learn how to clean. But besides that, it was a pretty cute story. It was a pretty easy rom-com to read. Then I read The Mars Room by Rachel Kushner. Romy Hall is at the start of two life sentences. Outside of the world of her youth and her young son, she deals with a new reality. I gave this three stars. I think some parts of the book were more successful than other parts. It was an interesting read because she's in prison and you kind of get the world of what prison is like. But there were some chapters like with a male character who's like very annoying and just very creepy that I was just like, I want to just skip past this. I think this is another one where I'm going to donate it to my little free library. Then I read Spare by Prince Harry. We all know who Prince Harry is, right? So he tells his own life story in his own words. He's chronicling his life in school, at home, in the military, and of course falling in love. Uh, I give this four stars. Um, I actually enjoyed his writing style and I was kind of surprised at it, but I say that with a grain of salt because I know that some people use ghostwriters. He might have written this by himself, but it's also possible he could have used a ghostwriter. Um, but it felt personable. Uh, I'm not the biggest like royal person, so it was kind of interesting to read. I do think he underplayed a lot of his privilege, but... I thought it was a pretty decent book. It was pretty interesting. I like to read about um, big people like that sometimes just to kind of see what they have to say. Then I read Exit West by Mohsin Hamid. This tells the story of Saeed and Nadia who meet and fall in love as their country breaks out in civil war. After discovering that magical doors are opening up throughout their city that can transport them to a different country, the couple decides to leave their home and forge a new life together. I gave this four stars. This was a quick one to go through. It's pretty short. Um, I read it in a day and it was different from what I expected. I enjoyed the story overall. I think it's a good one to read and my a quote that stuck out to me in the book was, we are all migrants through time. So that kind of gives you a little peek at the writing style. So those are all the books I read in March. And uh, leave me any suggestions down below for April. And have a great day.